Hello everyone, uh, I'm Chris Kapchus, uh, president of uh, Chestnut Park Real Estate. And today I'm gonna present to you the uh, November uh, market report. Uh, it's interesting because it's the November market report, but in some ways it feels like it could be a spring market report. Uh, this November is uh, functioning and unfolding in ways that no one could have anticipated in the dark months, uh, the early months of the pandemic in uh, March and in April. Uh, and in many ways, this uh, November report feels almost like it's a spring market report. Uh, the, the numbers are so strong, um, the, almost 9,000 sales in the month of November. Normally on a seasonal basis, the market is starting to shift, uh, uh, shift downwards to uh, a quieter um, holiday period, uh, but not this November. It has continued along in a very dramatic form. Um, Sales are happening very quickly right across the GTA in only 19 days. Uh, we've seen uh, fairly dramatic increases in average sale prices in November, uh, particularly, I might add, in the 905 region. And if there's anything unusual about this marketplace, is it's, um, it's, uh, uh, it, it's not homogeneous. Uh, it's on certain levels, it's operating in very different ways. Um, for example, uh, I was about to say in the 905, we've seen average sale prices dramatically higher than in the 416. Uh, and if uh, we take out condominium sales, we still see a dramatic increase in the 905 compared to the 416. So that gap that has existed between average sale prices between the um, the 905 region and the city of Toronto is being narrowed through the uh, pandemic. And uh, we all know why that's happening. Uh, people are looking for more space. They're looking for, um, uh, in their view, more safety, sanctuary, and they're finding it in the 905 region where one prices were, were uh, less expensive than in the city of Toronto. And also you get a whole lot more space uh, for the amount of money that you're paying in those regions. Conversely, the marketplace that's taking a, a substantial hit is a condominium apartment uh, marketplace in the city of Toronto. Uh, we, we've seen a pullback and we've, we, we saw it fairly dramatically uh, in November where um, we saw uh, flat sales and we saw the average sale price retract by about uh, 3%. But that's not the whole story. The real story is the amount of inventory out there. Um, in looking at the numbers, what we see as far as condominium apartments uh, are, are concerned is that inventory levels are up by almost 200% compared to where they were in November of last year. Uh, that means that uh, there's huge choice for the consumer uh, and unfortunately, there's a lot of competition on the part of sellers, and that's why we're seeing a retraction in average sale price. Aside though from condominium apartments, in the 416 and in the 905, we're seeing uh, dramatic increases in average sale prices, as I said, more so in the 905 region than in the uh, 416. But in both cases, uh, average sale prices have gone up uh, fairly dramatically. In the uh, 41, uh, 416, uh, detached, semi-detached townhouses up by around 9%. But in the 905, um, sale prices are up by 15, 16, 18% as far as those uh, housing types are concerned. Uh, other area to look at is the high end of the market, $2 million plus uh, dramatic increase uh, this month compared to the same month last year, um, 355 sales in that category, last year 199 sales. And on a year-to-date basis, similarly dramatic increases, about a 55% increase in uh, properties having a sale price of $2 million or more. Um, in conclusion, one of the things that, uh, that I looked at is the total number of sales for the year. And at of the end of November, we've actually exceeded the total number of sales that took place in 2019. Who would have thought that, again, in those dark months of March and April? Uh, not only have we exceeded what we did in 2019, but we still have December's data to take into account. And by the time December is done, we're probably going to see somewhere in the neighborhood of about 95,000 sales for 2020. 
Uh, the last time we saw that kind of a number was back in 2016. So an incredible, astonishing year, and we still have one month to go. When we get to, the, uh, to December data, I'll also take a look at where I think the market is going to go in uh, 2021. Um, uh, you can get the full market report on our uh, blog on the Chestnut Park website. I encourage you to go there. And I'm quite excited uh, uh, with anticipation waiting for the December data. Early indications are extremely strong December, uh, stronger than most Decembers that we've seen and maybe record breaking. So until uh, the December report, uh, everybody stay well, stay healthy, and I look forward to presenting it, presenting it to you next month. Thank you.